in this video I'm gonna show how to install this bong without welding to your oil pan this is the part number and this is where you can order it from you can also find it on eBay what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers I'm Barbas so in my last video you guys seen that I was gonna order the skunk 2 uh, rods I went ahead and I did not order those because of the fact that uh, I was able to get a hold of Mo over at Real Street and he got me the no-notch rods so that's what I got right now um, I got them ordered they're gonna be in the mail he told me that he could get them within like a week um, get them sent out to me within the week so that's great so that's what I'm waiting on but till then we're gonna go ahead and get this oil pan that's right here we're gonna get it cleaned up and we're gonna go ahead and get that bong on here I guess we'll do that while we wait on these rods as soon as I get these rods we'll probably start assembly on the D16 so hopefully sometime at the end of this week there's gonna be a video on that it just keeps raining it's been raining all these days like right now it's, it's starting to rain again it rained last night and it's actually pretty pretty cold like not cold cold but it's somewhere in the 40s right now all right so for this oil pan what i'm thinking of doing you guys can see that the gasket's still on here i need to remove this gasket and this oil pan is a little bit rusty in some spots especially underneath so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some degreaser in here and fill it up with water some of that concentrated degreaser that i have fill it up with water let it soak for a few hours and then go ahead and wash it out clean it out really good and do the same thing for the outside of it and then after it's nice and clean i'll go ahead and sand all that off give it a quick paint job and we'll go ahead and install our return line for the turbo somewhere right here it's gonna probably end up right here all right so this is the stuff i'm gonna be using um i went ahead and i tied this bolt that way i don't have any leaks in there i'll put some of this stuff in there that should be plenty this stuff is uh concentrated so that should be plenty and i'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest with water all right, so I'm putting in here hot water. And basically I'm just gonna let it soak. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more, fill it up all the way to the edge. And let that soak for a few hours. All right, so it's been about 24 hours that this oil pan has been sitting with the stuff inside. I'm gonna go ahead and empty it out. I did come out here and scrub it last night with a little brush that's on the inside. This is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out this whole thing and then we'll see what we're working with. All right, so I went ahead and I emptied that out. I rinsed it with water and right now I dried it and this is what it looks like. It's way better than what it looked like before um, this gasket is really stuck on here it's got like Honda bond on there so it's really really stuck on there I'm struggling to get it off but I'm gonna have to take off this whole gasket remove it throw it away and then I think we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole somewhere around here I'm not sure where yet for my return line for the bong maybe in here since there's like a little rivet right here it dips down maybe I could clear that space right there and it'll be right between these two which will work out perfect I think that's the same spot where I drilled before on my other oil pan after I drill that 
I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt this whole pan down so I could go ahead and paint it. Try to get rid of all these little rough spots that it has all over the place. All right, so this is the drill bit that I'm gonna be using. And basically, I'm gonna put this guy somewhere around here where it clears this right here and it clears this right here so I don't have any problems later on when I'm assembling the oil pan. Also, the fact that this is gonna drop drop down, you gotta leave room for your other connector so make sure that there's enough room right here, about a finger. And then on the other side behind this, so you guys can see, there's like this thing right here. So you wanna end up somewhere around there in the middle of that. So I'm gonna go ahead, start drilling my hole, and I'll show you guys. All right, so I went ahead and I used that, and this is actually the perfect size for it, because I got all the way to the end, and look at this thing, it just drops straight in there. So now what you want to do is basically you're going to put one of these right here. You're going to put it through. You'll put your other one on this end and you'll sandwich it together. And that's pretty much it. Tying everything down. And there it is. You got your return line, your bong right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off. And after I take it off, I'm gonna scuff the whole thing on the outside and give it a quick paint job. That way I don't have any, uh, any more surface rust anywhere. And another thing that I like to do is after I put our TV, it doesn't matter, I just on the outside, as I do it on the inside also, so around this edging right here, after it's all tying down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start scuffing this whole thing. And don't forget about the little shavings on the inside. All these little metal shavings, you gotta make sure that all these shavings are out. So of course I'm gonna rewash this whole thing, rinse it out, and make sure that all those little shavings are out. Because the last thing you want is one of those going into your motor, into your engine. All right, so I got the whole thing sanded down. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this stuff since I still have a bunch of this stuff left over. This is the high heat paint that I use on my exhaust manifold. This is the black one. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a few coats of this. Remember, there's nothing special about this. I just wanna get rid of that surface rust and I sanded it down to the bare metal. So that's why I'm gonna spray this. So I went ahead and I laid two coats. As you can see, it's drying. This stuff dries really fast. I literally sprayed the second coat and it's been like less than two minutes and you can see how it's drying. It almost dries as fast as, as gasoline evaporates. Or as fast as, I could also compare it to the carburetor cleaner. It just evaporates almost instantly. All right, so this is the third coat already. And it completely dried up. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the clear now. So I just laid three coats of paint. Doesn't look bad. This is the high heat clear. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the shed because it looks like it's gonna rain again. 
getting really tired of this rain. And then I'm gonna wait about two or three hours. Then I'm gonna go ahead and continue the video re recording. It's been a few hours. I brought the oil pan inside so you guys can see what it looks like. It looks very nice. So now basically this thing is just going to go right on there. You're just going to put one of these washers like I said before right through here like this. You're going to put it through the hole that you made then you're gonna go on the other side you're gonna put the washer and the nut on the other side what I like to do is before I put this one on I like to put a little drop of Loctite right here then you go ahead and spin it tying everything down and then you grab some black RTV and you put a little bit around here and a little bit around here. And that's just gonna secure and make sure that there is no leaks. And another thing that I forgot to mention, you wanna keep this as high as possible from the oil pan. Therefore, the line doesn't get backed up with oil. This is going to conclude this video. Um, hope you guys stay tuned for some time this week when I install the pistons into the engine block. Till then, catch you guys later. Peace out. Stay safe. Later.